Hi everyone, this is Linda with BuildOnlineBusinessesNow.com. Today I went to my blog and I had a little problem as you can see. This entire area here is completely messed up and I had no idea how to fix it or what caused it. Then I noticed this little error up here and you can't see on this screen but there was a link there and when I clicked that link it actually took me to a porn site so I figured my blog has been hacked. So I have this little tool on my Firefox that's called um, Web Developer and I go to Web Developer Inspect and you can actually inspect all of these um, all, everything that's on the page okay unfortunately I got rid of the error on this Firefox so I can't show you what I found you get a little screen here that'll tell you if there's an error but um, anyway my error went to a porn site right I told you that and eventually it told me about honey uh, project honeypot which is actually a um, a plugin for your blog that you can get it's a spam trapper so I decided to go into my settings into Project Honeypot and I went over to the Project Honeypot site and lo and behold there is that <laughs> that porn site listed in there I don't know how it got in there maybe um, maybe my Project Honeypot account got hacked into which is probably what happened anyway I've disabled that Project Honeypot and now my blog works just perfectly um, I just wanted to show you where you can go and get this blog developer tool that I have for Firefox okay so in order to find this web developer add-on we're gonna go to add-ons.mozilla.org and I'll leave the link below and um, it's called web developer I believe this is the one by Chris, Chris Pedrick um, and then you'll just want to click on add to Firefox or you might have to download it I'm not really sure but mine's already built in I already have it here and once it gets in there you'll find it under tools and then web developer and then inspect okay and that's when this thing will come up here at the bottom and you can click on HTML and you'll see all the errors that come up okay or maybe you won't but I knew where mine was <laughs> because it highlighted it that that one area up here I know I, I feel bad that I got rid of it but I, I really wanted to show it to you because it's a really helpful tool now on Chrome which is where this or I, where I saved this page um, you can probably get something similar but I can't figure out how to make it work um, there's one called web developer um, this is how it looks but which one is it that I have I just do a search for web developer in the Chrome store and it's the same one by Chris Pedrick but I can't seem to make it work properly like the one on Firefox so anyway you'll get a you get a little icon at the top of your browser and this is what it looks like but I can't figure it out for the life of me how to make this one work because it's very different if you go to view source on the um, web developer tool for Chrome I see here where the problem is well I don't really because um but it's it's embedded in everything and this was the offending site here see it's just everywhere but of course on this um, web developer thing for Chrome it doesn't show me that it's Project Honeypot that's causing the error oh wait yes it does actually right here there it says Project Honeypot okay so maybe it does work it doesn't work exactly the same because it doesn't it doesn't highlight this air, this thing here like it does on web developer on Firefox but anyway if you ever have a problem like that and you get some funky coding up here or your web your blog is all completely screwed up make sure you got this web developer installed into your browser okay it's really really easy to use well you do have to have a bit knowledge of um, what you're doing but um, if you don't, you can always contact your hosting provider. But I was determined to figure this out on my own. It only took me a couple hours, but I'm really happy I figured it out. And I just wanted to show you about this little tool here 
on Firefox that you can get and also on Chrome. But like I said, it's easier to work with on Firefox than it is on Chrome. So um, anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.